Top Dem confirms the rumors, says Pelosi knows about it. Just a short time ago, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi attacked President Donald Trump's travel ban on people coming to America from China. In fact, she even encouraged people to visit Chinatown not too long ago. And last week, she dragged her feet when Americans needed relief, and it took nearly a week for the Democratic-controlled House to pass the stimulus package because she also tried slipping in several left-wing goodies into the bill. Many likely saw several Democrats pack the House floors together and gave endless speeches before they actually passed the relief package. One of those liberals was Democratic Representative Nydia Velasquez, and she has revealed that she has a presumed coronavirus infection, days after being in close contact with Pelosi. The Democratic lawmaker took to Twitter on Tuesday and released a statement admitting that she likely has the novel coronavirus, saying that she experienced very similar symptoms in the wee hours of Sunday morning. I developed the abrupt onset of muscle aches, fevers, nasal congestion, and stomach upset. I noticed that I could no longer smell my perfume or taste my food. After speaking with the attending physician by phone, I was diagnosed with presumed coronavirus infection, said Velasquez in a statement. My symptoms are mild at the present time and I am taking Tylenol for fever and isolating myself at my home, she continued. At the advice of the attending physician, neither COVID-19 laboratory testing nor a doctor's office visit was recommended. I am carefully monitoring my symptoms, working remotely, and in constant contact with my staff. We know the coronavirus disease spreads very easily and with close human contact. So if Velasquez is in fact infected, there's a decent chance that she may have spread it to various Democrat members of the House, which also could include Pelosi. What's more troubling is the fact that Pelosi is 80 years old, which puts her in the highest risk category. Beyond that, this comes days after House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy slammed Pelosi for misleading the American people and spreading what he called outright lies. During his weekly press conference, the California Republican went after Pelosi over comments she made about changes made to the $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus package that passed the Senate on Wednesday. A few minutes ago, the Speaker stood at this podium and claimed that House Democrats did what she called jujitsu to change the bill. That is an outright lie, McCarthy said. The fundamental portions of this bill have not changed since Sunday. McCarthy continued, Four months for unemployment was already decided on Sunday. The grant to keep employees hired in small business was already decided on Sunday. The only few additions were the funding of things that had nothing to do with the coronavirus, he added. McCarthy slammed Democrats for delays in getting the major completed and approved. Last week, Congress passed a massive $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus compromise package, which will bring relief to individuals, small businesses, and larger corporations. The relief package also includes thousands of dollars in direct payments to most Americans, millions of whom face unemployment related to the spread of the virus, as well as a $500 billion loan fund for large corporations and a $367 billion loan program for small businesses.